If you're looking to create and sell online courses on WordPress, Sensei LMS might be the perfect tool for you. Built by Automatic, the same company behind WordPress.com and WooCommerce, Sensei turns any WordPress site into a powerful learning management system. But is it actually the best choice for your online courses? In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know from course creation and student tracking to monetization and customization. By the end, you'll know exactly whether Sensei is the right LMS for your needs and how to implement it successfully inside of your own business. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first things first, let's talk about what this actually is. Sensei LMS is a WordPress plugin that transforms your website into an online course platform. Unlike standalone platforms like Teachable, Kajabi, or even School, this integrates directly into your WordPress website, giving you full control over your courses, content, and student experience. The core plugin is completely free to use, and it allows you to create unlimited courses, lessons, and quizzes. But if you want to advanced features like selling courses with WooCommerce, content dripping, AI powered quizzes, and student progress reports, you'll need to actually purchase Sensei Pro, which is their more advanced option that gives you more features for your actual Sensei product. But now that we've gotten basic definitions out of the way, let's show you how to actually get started with Sensei, which you can do so by the way, completely for free. Now, the first thing you wanna do is head down to the link in the description for Sensei. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you can get started completely for free with Sensei today by clicking this green button here. Once you click the green button, it will then take you to the pricing page. On their pricing page, we can see that they have a couple of different options that we can choose from. We have the Sensei free option, the interactive blocks option, and the Sensei pro option. Now for the free option, it comes with some really basic features like the ability to publish unlimited free courses, certificate builders, basic quizzes, distraction free learning mode, and it works with any WordPress theme. If we look at their interactive blocks tier, we're going to see that this is priced at about $5 per month, but it's 60 if you barely yearly and this comes with interactive videos, flashcards, image hotspots, task lists, quiz questions, the ability to use it anywhere for pages, post lessons, and other plugins. And then of course there's the Sensei Pro option, which is priced at about $15, but if you build yearly, it's about $179. You get everything in Sensei free, plus the ability to sell your courses, as well as advanced quizzes, interactive lessons and videos, and a host of other features. And also just to top it off, there's a 14-day refund guarantee with any and all of these plans, meaning that if you have any issues or if you just want to get your money back, you can ask for it with no questions asked. Now, as far as which of these plans I recommend going with and what I'm going to show you in this video, I'd recommend just starting with the free plan. And if you want to start selling your courses in the future, you can upgrade to the pro plan. All we have to do now is hit this download button. Once you hit the download button, it will then say, thank you for choosing Sensei. And it will ask you to download this directly onto your desktop. Once you save this onto your desktop, you can then head back over to your WordPress website and install the plugin directly into your WordPress site. Now I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to get Sensei onto your WordPress website in the first place. Go over to your WordPress website, which should look something like this. This is going to be your WordPress dashboard. And the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the left here on this specific sidebar. Once you're on the sidebar, you're going to look for the WordPress logo. You'll click on the WordPress logo and then hit the leave page button. Once you hit that, you're going to be inside of your WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to see basically everything you need to know about your website, as well as pages and important metadata and sub settings. We're more concerned about plugins here. So on the left tab here, we're going to head on over to plugins. Once we're on the plugins option, we're going to then kick on either install plugins, add new plugins or plugin file editor. Now, because we already have it downloaded to our desktop, we're going to go ahead and click on the add new plugin button. Once we click on the add new plugin button, we're then going to search for Sensei LMS. Once you search for that, as you can see here, you can install now or install their LMS certificates. Also, if you don't see this, you can click the upload plugin button, choose a file from your computer that we just downloaded, and then you can upload this plugin directly into your plugin store. Once we get the install now button though, it will begin installing this onto our WordPress site. As you can see, it's officially been installed. All that's left to do now is hit the activate button. Just like that, it says, welcome to Sensei LMS. We're officially inside of their onboarding setup. We'll hit the get started button and this will take us through a setup wizard asking us basic questions on what the purpose of our courses are going to be. For the sake of this video, and most of you are probably watching this or doing this, we're gonna be saying that we're selling courses and generating income. Once we add selected, we'll hit the continue button, which will then take us to using their default theme. Now for this one, we can choose whatever we like. We can either get a course theme or explore some of the other theme options. We'll just go ahead and say that we're going to keep our current theme because that's the theme that we're using. But you could also use the course theme because it looks a little bit more better and more in line with what you're trying to do if you're selling courses. Up next is improving their experience where you can give them some feedback. But in the sake of this video, we'll just say no thanks. On this page, we're then going to enter in our email address, which we can then say that we're going to sign up for their newsletter. We can also skip 
skip this. And now it'll apply our choices to our website. It'll install WooCommerce and it will give us everything we need to start selling our courses on our WordPress website. And just like that, Sensei is 20% of the way ready to go on our website. We've officially set up our course site. Now the next big step here is creating our first course program. We're going to click on that in the little setup taskbar, which will then take us into Sensei's course editor. Inside of their editor, we can make any change to anything you can think of. And the first thing you'll have you do is actually create a course title as well as the description. Now for the example here, we'll say that this is an e-commerce course. So we'll call this e-com course. And then for the description, we'll just say that we teach people how to drop ship or something like that. Of course, you can put whatever you want, depending on the course that you're creating in the first place. Once you have all this filled out, we'll hit the continue button, which will then take us to this page where it'll offer us to upgrade to Sensei Pro if we want to start selling our courses. We'll continue with the free option for now though, because of course we are just getting our course set up in the first place. As you can see, you can choose a course layout here and they even have some pre-existing templates that you can choose from, but we'll go with the default option. As you can see, it will then take us back to their course editor here where we can start making changes to our course. The first thing we might want to do is actually start adding content to our first course module so people can watch videos and start to learn the basics. In order to do that, I can click on this course option over here, set a featured image to make sure we have a really good looking featured image. And then if I want to start adding videos, I'll scroll down here and go to my course categories, add new course category, and then name it. And then once I've done that, everything will look a lot more smoother. As you can see, they already have a pre-existing lesson one here that I can click on and obviously change the name of, and then go even further by clicking the down arrow or these three dots here, as well as any of these other buttons here, like selecting a parent block, lesson, or moving it up or down. Now let's say for instance, I want to add a new module or lesson. I simply can click on this and click on the plus button, which will allow me to add either a new module, a new lesson, or existing lessons. Let's say for this instance, I want to add a new module here where I can then change the module name. Let's say I want to call it add course to run ads for my e-commerce products. And then of course there's the lessons that I can add there, which again are kind of filled out like these little check boxes. You can type pretty much anything you want in here, but most of you probably want to know how to embed videos. In order to add those videos, we simply go up to the top left here, click on the plus icon, and then we can start adding in any of these blocks that you would find in WordPress's normal website editor. We'll go ahead and scroll down here, or we can go into the search bar and type in video and then insert our video or drag it and drop it into a place that we want on our website. Let's say I want a welcome video right here, which I can put it here and then either upload a video directly from my actual computer or from a media library or even a URL from a YouTube link or even a Loom link. Once I've uploaded the video there, I then can go to these actual lessons here and start typing in them, adding any of the details that I want to be inside of them. If you want to add a video to your module, you can go to the module section and start making different course modules depending on what it is you're talking about inside of your course program. That's going to be found in the left-hand sidebar here where you'll click on the modules, add your name, a slug, a description, and then you can also add videos and anything else that's relevant to this. Now, if you want to edit your course, Sensei uses the WordPress block editor. So adding lessons works just like creating any other post or page. You can add text, images, videos, and even interactive elements to keep students engaged in the first place. Quizzes can be added to any lesson and Sensei Pro unlocks advanced question types and AI generated quizzes to streamline course creation. Once everything is fully set up, Sensei LMS takes care of the rest and students can enroll, complete lessons, take quizzes, and track their progress all from within your WordPress site. Now that your course is live, let's go over how to manage students, track progress, and optimize engagement. Inside the Sensei LMS dashboard, you'll find a dedicated learners tab. This is where you can view all of your enrolled students, monitor their progress, and manually adjust enrollments if needed. If you're running a paid course, you can also manage refunds and access control directly from this section. To keep students engaged, Sensei Pro offers content drip functionality, which allows you to schedule lessons to be released at specific intervals. If you want to foster a more interactive learning experience, Sensei integrates with Zoom and Google Meet, allowing you to host live sessions and Q&A sessions. Simply add a meeting block to any lesson, insert your meeting link, and students will be able to join with just one click of a button. On the analytics side, Sensei Pro provides detailed reports on students' performance, quiz results, and overall course engagement. If you want to automate student feedback, you can also use Sensei's built-in email notifications to send reminders, congratulations, or custom messages based on student activity. By leveraging these features, you can create a more structured and engaging course experience that keeps students on track and maximizes retention. If you haven't started yet, make sure you use that link down in the description to get started with Sensei LMS and set up your WordPress site. For those who want to take their online course even further, again, Sensei Pro is going to be how you're going to access some of the more advanced features that we talked about in this video. And I would highly recommend that once your course is built out, I would definitely recommend giving a look at those higher tiered pricing plans. But other than that, that's pretty much it for Sensei LMS. If you guys have questions about how to do this process further or how this whole platform works, make sure to comment them down in the comment section. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. 
and please use the links down in the description to get started with Sensei or WordPress. Also remember that those are affiliate links and we do monetarily benefit from them. So thank you in advance for supporting more videos like this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to see you guys in any of our future videos.